Hi, my name is Conan Kawashima. Um, I'm currently living in uh, Saitama and slash Tokyo. I go to work at Tokyo every day. And I used to live in Ohio for about um, 13 years, or sorry, 16 years ish. Um, hi, I'm Rurika Kawashima. I also live in Japan, specifically Saitama, and I currently work in Tokyo, so I guess, yeah, well, I, I don't really live in Tokyo, but, um, but I also used to live in Columbus, Ohio for 16 years, so yeah, go Bucks. <laughs> My name is Lauren, and I'm uh, the project intern for JASCO, and I currently live in Ohio as well, and just graduated from Ohio State University. So today we're going to be talking about um, New Year's celebrations in America and Japan. So to start it off, um, what is your impression of the Japanese New Year? Um, for me, I feel like um, it's very traditional. There's a lot of um, traditional stuff that we do, like um going to the temple or like um you know wearing a kimono or eating osechi ryori and stuff like that um and also i feel like it's very family based like for japan i feel like families don't gather a lot but new year's is like the day where everyone gathers like all your um relatives not just family, like your cousins and your grandma and grandpa. So I think for Japan, that's like the biggest time of the year. And like, I feel like <laughs> it's very um, family centered is my image of New Year's in Japan. I also think it's family based too. It's kind of like Christmas in the states so like i know in the states christmas is like a big holiday and you go back to i know a lot of college students go back home and celebrate christmas together so it's like basically kind of like that so new year's is like a time where you spend um quality time with your cousins family relatives everything like that um i also heard like this is kind of like what i heard like a long time ago but like um, when you have like a relative um, pass away during that specific year, you're not really supposed to have like the New Year's gathering. And apparently it's because it's not like, you know, like a happy New Year type thing. And I guess it's kind of like a manner based thing. And I didn't know that until like my mom was like talking about it. So I thought that was kind of like a really good fact I can <laughs> put in there. But yeah, I think like um, overall, I think it's kind of like family based for me. No, that's really interesting. I know here's mm -hmm. kind of just a big party. <laughs> <laughs> right. For sure. And then um, what is your favorite part of the New Year's celebrations in Japan? So I have like three things that I like. Um, I think you kind of gave like examples of like, um, I think it was like Osechi Ryori and stuff, right? Um, so like I, I have like three things that I like. So it's like Osechi Ryori is one of them. Um, the second one was Nengajo, and then the third one was Otoshidama. So the first one, I like Osechi Ryori because it has a lot of seafood, and obviously I'm like pescatarian, <laughs> so there's like a lot of food that I can eat, and you see a lot of like traditional Japanese food, like whether it's like beans or seafood or like fish cake, so I guess it's also like a very healthy food, so it kind of represents, you know, like a good, happy, healthy year for that time. And then the second thing that I really like is Nengajo. Um, I guess nowadays people don't really send Nengajos because everyone already has like smartphones and everything and they just send it through like chats. But um, I really like Nengajo because one of my friends was like a really good artist. And I wish I had, a, I, I wish I took like a picture but she would always draw like a picture 
of like a character or something and she would like send it to me so every year I would be like really excited to see that like manga jewel um mostly people just like go on their computer and just like I don't know collage their pictures but she actually like drew a picture and colored it and the last thing that I like is Botoshidama because you know you get money um <laughs> I guess you don't really get it when you get older especially like for me since I started working there I already get like money from companies so like I guess now I would be the one who has to give money but like when I was young I would you know get money and that would be like my allowance so yeah <laughs> mine's like really long I'm so sorry <laughs> Um, I think for me, the biggest thing is, um, like I said earlier, since New Year's is really family-based, um, I really like it because I get to spend time with my family. And um, some years I get to see relatives, like cousins um, that I haven't seen for a really long time. So um, that's really nice. And also since in Japan, it's like Thanksgiving or Christmas, we don't have any days off. So I think the biggest like big vacation is around New Year's. Um, so it's really like a long quality time that I can spend time with my family. So, and also I really like Hatsumode. Um, like you go to the temple. I mean, usually it's nice to go around um, like New Year's Day, but it's usually really crowded. So um, our family usually goes like later in January, but it's just really nice to um, do omikuji and see like what your luck is for the year. And, you know, that's just kind of fun to um, do it with your family. And also it's nice to just, um, you know, wish for another good year. So that's what I really like about New Year's in Japan. Yeah, it sounds like fun. I always drew the worst numbers or had the worst luck. So <laughs> yeah. I hope you, you can do. always draw more until you get a good luck. <laughs> I hope you do have good luck. <laughs> and then just out of curiosity, do you have any, um, since both of you are working now, are you going to have any of the end of year parties, work parties, or not really? Um. Yeah, usually at this time of year, we should be having pretty big um, end of year like work parties. And usually the youngest in, um, in the group, group or like in your team is the one who's supposed to, you know, reserve the restaurant and um, take all everyone's orders and um, take care of the um, paycheck or yeah, paying and stuff. But um, because of the pandemic this year, we really don't have anything at all which is nice in a way because you know you're not really forced to be in a social gathering but also um because of the pandemic i haven't really spent much time with anybody on my team so like outside of work and i feel like the end of the year party that they always have is um a great way to socialize but we don't really have that this year so Got it. Yeah, I know. It's just always big around this time of year or mm -hmm. so. Right. And then you kind of touched on it already, but just what would you say is the main comparison to um, New Year's in Japan compared to your experiences in Japan? Um, going off of that again, just anything else that stuck out to you? Yeah, I guess like the big thing is like spending who you're spending it with. And then I guess another thing is um, we're not, I guess like we're not really religious or anything, but like a lot of times um, like Japanese people go to like temples to, I guess kind of like pray. So they have like a good year or like good luck for the rest of the year. And like, um, especially this year, I think a lot of people would want to go um, because of this whole pandemic and, you know, they obviously want to stay healthy and, um, have good health for the rest of the year, not only for them, but, you know, for like the rest of the family. So I think that's like the two main things that I see the differences. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think the same thing too. Like, um, I feel like when I was in the U S it was more about like countdowns and party and then like, but I feel like it's more like 
kind of like Thanksgiving in the U.S. Like it's more polite trying to catch up with your family. You're not really partying. I mean, there is alcohol always, but <laughs> um, I think it's more catching up and um, seeing each other because we haven't seen each other in a while, more like that. So, um, and also, yeah, kind of like the religious part, I guess. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, it sounds great. Well, thank you both for uh, <laughs> taking the time to talk to me. And I hope that you have a fun New Year's celebration. Thank you. You thank too. You. Yeah, you too. <laughs>